am out on my morning walk pursuing 10,000 steps a day as part of my health upgrade and I am in the middle of July's content like crazy content challenge I'm learning a lot and I'm having so much fun and man is it hard so I could really use the encouragement if you got in you but that's not why I'm here right now I'm about to post a video that's pretty much completely edited on why you should be a content creator like why it's powerful why it's needed whether you're in business or uh, looking for romance or you you're an employee personal branding is super important and different ways that you can get over some of the obstacles people face including how you look on camera how, what you say on camera and how you say it drawing on experience from my background as a film and TV actor and from my uh, work as a speaking coach so a couple of the ideas that I came across that are not in the video that I wish were a powerful process in creating content is to recognize that there are different voices, there are different styles, there are different tones, and that you can be really conscious of which way you're speaking in. Like, are you speaking in the tone of someone who is sitting across the table from a friend having a coffee? Or are you in presentation mode with the camera turned on? And I think that's really powerful because it gives so much more freedom and so much more range, and it doesn't make any thing wrong. It doesn't make any style wrong. Here's an example of this. Yesterday I was speaking with my dad and my dad's such a supporter of me in so many ways. Anyway, he hates, hates when I do my creating from bed videos and was saying, oh, Lisa, your, your speaking skills and communication skills videos are so great, so professional. Why do you do the speaking from bed videos? And it's really an example of this. It's like all the different ways can matter. And maybe some people really like my professional speaking and communication skills, YouTube videos and information on TikTok. And other people like the casualness of, oh, I'm just thinking out loud in bed. And I think I'm on a journey of no niching and being fully myself in all the ways. And so I want to share all the parts of myself, the casual morning voice, opening my eyes thoughts as well as the more produced speaking skills so what do you think which what kind of content do you generally like to follow